Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here tonight along with... Nathaniel. Yep. Hey, guys, we got an exciting video tonight, especially exciting for Nathaniel. He's getting a brand new ceiling fan put in, in his bedroom. And we're going to pan over and show you this thing right quick. Well, let's show you the one that we're removing today. This is the Littleton. Who's it made by? Hampton Bay. Hampton Bay Littleton um 42 inch he's had this one in here for several years 12 years 12 years it's been here yeah oh wow i didn't realize it's been here that long anyhow Daniel won his own remote control ceiling fan brush nickel and he paid for it with his own money okay so hey you can't can't beat that right yeah <laughs> awesome so i'm gonna help him put it up here today let's get started Real quick, folks, I want to show you the fan that we will be installing today. It is the Hunter Bennett Collection 52-inch brush nickel uh, fan with remote control. Control. And what does that say? LED Edison? Yeah, is that what that, is that, that's the type of bulbs that are in there, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's going to yeah, be really cool. This is a 52-inch Hunter yeah. Bennett Collection. Check this out, guys. See these globes? They go straight down. They got those cool bulbs in there. I guess that's what they call them as Edison bulbs. Okay? They look old school. This is going to be a really neat fan. Guys, we're going to unbox this sucker and get started. All right, before we get started on that, though, guys, the thing was going to take the old fan down. All right. So take it away, the thing. Okay. So first, first we need to do is um, take the light bulb out and take the pull chains off. And I'm going to take the blades off so we can get this covered. Okay. Out of the way. All right. Well, guys, we'll hang tight here as Nathaniel works away. Taking them pull chains off. Taking the bulb out. We're going to reinstall this um, fan out in the garage, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to find a place for it out there. And, but, and hey, our... and we got another little tent in the garage. We yep. got... One has white blades, and we're, and we're gonna have an, another little thing that has brown blades. Awesome. Okay. So he's gonna take these blades off, guys. I'm gonna pause it for a little bit, and we'll get back at it. Daniel already has one blade off, guys. Okay. And he's removing the. Yeah. The by middle. the way, and very important, take sure you take sure you cut the power off. Yep. For safely. That's right. And wear... Take sure you wear your safety glasses, but the ceiling here has popcorn in it. That's right. So Nathaniel is uh, practicing good safety measures today. There we go. We got the blades off. Okay, guys. Blades are off. Nathaniel is taking the screws out. As you can see on this side here, I'm going to show you on this side. Uh, you'll see that there's two screws here. There's two screws on the other side. One he's gonna back completely out, one he's just gonna back out about four turns so we can twist and remove that cover. So how's the thing doing over here? Are you getting them out, buddy? Yeah. There you go, he's backing them out with a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, I had to take one side all the way out from the thing because it was stuck to the ceiling. Oh, good night. Couldn't twist it just a little bit. See how you can kind of twist it? Oh, you might not be able to. Go ahead and take your screwdriver. Let's see if I can hold it for you. Hold and the panel. All yeah, right, yeah, go ahead and take that all the way out. Yeah, hold that cover. Okay. You're supposed to be able to just twist and put in place, but evidently this thing's just got a little bit of tight clearance to the... Okay. There you go. Now... Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. I'm going to let you... Lost the screw. Crap. That's fine. We'll get it. Okay. Now the thing's going to pull it down. All right. So here it is. Good job. Okay guys, looks like this Littleton here, we just take the two Phillips heads on this side. We should be able to slide out the main body here. I may have to take this one out too, I can't remember. Let's try just loosening it right quick. Ooh, wow, the sucker's tight. I must have been a Hercules when I put this sucker in. There we go, we got that loose. And we got this one loose. So guys, let me work on loosening up these screws and dropping out this motor. Okay, we're taking out this last Phillips head screw. I actually went back on the other side and took the other one out as well. And we should be able to just kind of bring this thing on down if I remember correctly. Seems to be a little stuck. There we go. We got it unstuck. There we okay, go. now that's, this should slide out like so. 
Okay, folks, looks like all I gotta do is twist this a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we twisted it and then brought it out. Okay, now we have some electrical wires here that we shoved up inside here to get out of the way. So now let me get all these down here where I can unhook them. Okay. So here's our neutral wire. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect that. And we got a light fixture wire attached to that as well. We have a our black wire attached to our motor wire and our lamp wire, okay? Let's go ahead and remove that as well. Okay. Well. Uh -huh. There we go. Everything just kind of twisted up. Now we got a ground wire over here as well. It's grounded to the motor. We'll pull it apart. And now I think we just got a twisted up mess here. Okay, there we go. We got it now, guys. So now we're going to drop our motor down and get ready for our new fan here in a minute. Okay, guys, we're going to take these three wood screws out right here to remove our mounting bracket. So let me get those done right quick and we'll be moving right along. We put Nathaniel back up on the ladder, guys. We're gonna let him uh, muscle those Phillips head uh, wood screws out of there. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, hey, what we're gonna do here, uh, we have our mounting bracket right here. Put the camera right there, Nathaniel. Tells you that you can either use wood screws going through here, or you can use machine screws going into a electrical uh, bracket, a suitable electrical bracket that could be mounted up in your ceiling. What I have here is just a solid two by four nailed in between the truss. I've done this, I went up in the attic and done that several years ago. So this thing is definitely solid, okay? And we're gonna use the actual screws that we already had versus the one that come with the kit because they actually look like they're a little, ours look a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit bigger. So we are going to start, we use the washers that come with the kit right there on the back of our screws, but we are going to go ahead and install this sucker, okay? So I'm gonna go up through these screw, screw holes right here and we are going to go ahead and start getting our bracket in place guys so stay tuned as we get these screws run up through here okay we're getting up here close guys so i'm gonna go ahead and i didn't think i'm going to cut the camera on and we are just uh tightening up these uh screws here right quick and i think we're good to go all right cool Okay, guys, hey, we've got this thing mounted up here, and it, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, we've got those three-inch screws going in there, but I just want to do something a little bit more, so I went out to the garage. Let me show you these screws right here. These are decking screws that I got. I found a couple washers that I had that I put on there. They're three inches long. We're going to run these in here right beside it, right in this area here on both sides, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just stick that sucker up in there like that. Going through that sheetrock. Same thing over here. We'll do the same thing as my arm in the way. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I just want to see what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead and get our drill and run these suckers in right now. Stay tuned. All right. Well, that felt good. I like that. Get this in the same way. All right. Now we're NASCAR legal now, guys. That sucker ain't never falling off there. Hey, guys. We're getting ready to install, what is it, the little, uh, what do you call this again? The the, it's the down rod. The down rod, okay. So we're going to cut some of this crazy much wire off of here. It gives you a lot of extra wire just in case you want to um, put a really long down rod on here but we got eight foot ceilings here so we're definitely just going with uh, minimum so let me go ahead and um, actually it says 
you only need eight inches of wire sticking out of this thing once this is in place. So we'll kind of estimate that as we come out. Now, I wonder if it matters which side this pin is on. I don't think it really does. But I believe I will keep all three of them possibly on the same side away from the uh, round wire. I don't think it really matters though. Okay, so there we go guys, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this up here, we're going to start this, uh, start our um, down rod here, okay, we're holding our wires here, they should stay right there together, they're not going to twist, that's one reason you want to keep them on one side or the other of that pin in the middle. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten this down so this is pretty much good and hand tight. Now, to go along with that, the set screw right here, very important, guys. Yeah, you wanna that make you, sure you're screwing real good. If you don't, if you don't screw it in very good, it's gonna wobble. It's gonna wobble, it could possibly fall, and death could result, okay? Yeah. So it says just to take a pair of pliers and Tighten the set screw, and I think that right there ought to do just fine. So now, guys, they tell you all you need is about eight inches. I'm gonna estimate that's actually probably a little bit more than eight inches right there. I'm gonna leave it at that for now, and we'll get ready to hang this sucker up. Okay, folks, before we go to hang this up on the bracket, we want to put this uh, cover here. This is our cover that's gonna cover up all this mess after we're done and we just want to get it up on there and lay it in place okay folks we're getting ready to hang the whole motor assembly up here so we're gonna making sure we're supporting it by the uh, motor itself we're gonna bring it up in here into place if we can there we go i think we got it okay cool I'm gonna climb up this ladder a little bit more, make sure I got it. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to uh, explain a little bit of uh, the uh, the color coding of the wires here, right quick. Coming out of the ceiling, we have a black wire. It's going to go. It's your your hot wire. It's going to go to the black wire coming from the fan. Okay. And your white wire, which is your neutral is gonna to go to your white wire uh, from the fan. And then you have a two green wires with the yellow tracer. One comes from the fan, one comes from the bracket, and we are going to do a three-way union with our ground wire coming from the ceiling, okay? So we're gonna make these connections. Now notice we have a blue wire here. We're gonna just simply cap it, okay? You don't need the blue wire unless you have dual switches and we don't have dual switches. So we're just gonna cap it. We're gonna cut it off a little shorter and cap it, okay? So let me go ahead and start preparing these wires. I'm gonna strip these four here back. I'm gonna cut a couple inches off of them, strip them back, and then we'll be ready to make our connections. Guys, I don't know if you can see this that well. I'm just gonna kind of explain what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making a connection on a neutral wire. What I'm gonna do is twist the wires together clock in a clockwise fashion okay and then put the wire nut on turning it in a clockwise motion down until it's secure okay until you really can't turn it much more and it actually starts twisting the wire just a little bit is where you want it and you want to do a slight little tug on each wire make sure you got it in there good and that's about all i'm doing to each one of these connections Okay guys, now what I'm gonna do is I actually try to tuck all these wires up in here neatly and uh, in such a fashion where nothing ever can possibly vibrate up against anything. And, uh, and then we will actually install this cover over that. So stay tuned as I get these wires tucked up in here. Okay folks, we have got all our wires tucked up in here and now we are going to install our canopy and it has one, it has these two little screws here that come in one one bag. And um, there's just one for each side. I don't know if you can see, can you see that? Yeah. 
They're just small little Phillips head screws. So let's go ahead and put our canopy up here and we'll see if we can get these suckers started. Okay guys, we got it hung up here and everything is doing pretty good and it's pivoting up there in the ball. That's awesome. Now what we're gonna do, uh, we have these little brackets on here. These are shipping brackets, okay? So all these screws here have to be removed and these brackets need to be thrown away. So we're just gonna go ahead and back all of them off. We keep the screws though, because we need the screws to actually install the blades. So stay tuned as I get all these removed. You guys, this is the bracket and there's five of them on here. Yep, five. And we're gonna remove all of them and we're just throw them away. Okay folks, Nathaniel has the blades here and he's unwrapping them and they have actually a color on each side let's let's show the good people what color they are this is kind of a light colored silvery sort of look and that side there's more of a uh a darker gray and which which side do you like the best Nathaniel? Uh, i want the this. you want the dark gray down yeah. okay so that's yeah. what he's going to do so what he's going to do now guys is install these brackets right here and we'll show you how he puts one of those together with the rubber grommets and he'll show you the screws that we'll use to install. Okay guys, I think most of the, the most aggravating part about this whole project has been putting these little rubber grommets in these fans, okay? But I have found that if you just kind of get them started the best you can, and then I take a little pocket screwdriver here, okay? And just kind of help push the edge of it down into the hole, okay? That seems to kind of help better than anything. And this one here is really being aggravating because I'm trying to uh, explain how to do it. <laughs> but anyway, don't stab yourself in the leg <laughs> with the screwdriver. <laughs> anyway, when you get it pushed in there the best you can, you can come around the other side and you can take a corner of the screwdriver here and you can kind of pick it and get it the rest of the way through. So guys, that's what we're going to do here. And it's just kind of tedious, but there you go. And then you just take your finger and kind of grab it and you can see that you got it all the way in there. Okay. So you have to do three of these on each fan blade. So it'll probably be the most aggravating thing you do. <laughs> Okay, the next part is what Nathaniel's working on doing, and he's putting the screws through them little rubber holes into the bracket, okay? As you see, there's the bracket. And he's getting them all started by hand, and then he will tighten them down with a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, guys, we're in here. We're getting ready to install the blades on this bad boy, okay? So we're going to do these one at a time and get each screw started before you tighten up both of them. I don't know where that wants to go to, but we'll just let it kind of hang where it wants to go for a second. Yeah. And there we go. And as you get both of them started, then you can actually Snug them up, okay, like yeah. so. Mm -hmm. And we'll move on to the next blade. Okay, guys, all the blades are installed. We went around, double checked them like twice with the Phillips head screwdriver right here. And we made sure everything was nice and tight. And we we're ready to install the light kit. And this is actually pretty simple, guys. If you look right here, it's like a twist on. You twist clockwise like a half a turn. There's gonna be a locking pin that can either fall in here here or here there's one locking pin that's actually right here where my finger is i'm pushing on that locking pin right there there's not one on these other three years so it doesn't matter how you put it on here you're going to be able to get it to lock okay now here we go we got to plug in the uh main plug here let's make sure we color coordinate this plug if we can it says to color coordinate here and let's make sure I can here. Anyway. So there we go. So we're snapped in place. Okay. And now we've got to work our connector into our 
light fixture here. It says, I do believe. Let me, let's stop a minute and read the instructions one more time. Okay, guys. Yeah, we, we're going to uh, press this connector into the uh, light kit itself. See how these marks line up? L and a L. Black, black, red, red, yellow, yellow, A, A. That's the way that you want to have it plugged in. And we want to figure oh, out <laughs> how this goes in here the best way. And we just, uh, not sure how it's going to go in there, but it's going to go in there one way or another, by golly. Okay, guys, that was kind of a pain in the butt, but I will tell you what I ended up doing. I ended up taking a screwdriver and shoving it in through an opening here to actually kind of kick my connector sideways, okay? I had to get it uh, connect, um, cord sort of turned sideways so I could get all that harness down in there. So now we've got to get this up in here to a point where we can twist it on in the place in a clockwise motion. There we go, guys. That's it. That was that easy right there. How easy was that? But getting the connector in there was the hardest part. Now she's in there. Okay. I don't know what you do to ever release it. I guess you would uh, have to release that pin somehow or another. We better hang on to the instructions, Nathaniel, in case we ever have to take it apart. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you go. Light kit installed, fan installed. And we're going to continue on. Okay, guys, now Nathaniel is installing the, uh, what do you call these? Globes. The globes? Yeah. So you stick a globe on, and then you have this, uh, hold that piece up there. It's like a black screw-on ring. And he reaches up through there. You got it kind of crooked, Nathaniel. Uh, crooked? Yeah, there you go. And we're getting it right now. Yeah, you're getting it now. And you get it started. Spin that sucker on there. A little bit more. Yeah. Come on. And then you can actually just kind of grab the globe itself and give it a little, a little twist. There you go. Oh. It latches down into the uh, glass and you can just tighten it up a little bit. All right, one more to go, guys, and we're going to put some bulbs in it. Yeah, put the light bulbs in. All right, now Nathaniel is installing the really cool Edison bulbs. Ain't that what they grow, they're called? Yeah. And that is so awesome. Man, that's gonna be beautiful. Don't don't go too tight. All right, put the other two in there. And we're gonna see if this baby works. Okay guys, hey, we got this thing working. Nathaniel has the remote control in hand now. And it comes with a card. Let's show him the card. It has like all the uh Little commands like quick press cuts the light on and off, quick press on the light bulb cuts the uh, fan on and off, and you got a lot of other different little controls here, press and hold. And the thing was working with it now, just trying to get used to it. Uh, we did have it up on high just a minute ago, and it looked like it was a little bit out of balance. So we are going, oh, he reversed it. That is freaking awesome. It reversed. Oh, that is so cool. You can reverse the fan just by, by using the remote control. That's so awesome. Let me back up here a little bit. Yeah, I'm turning the fan on low. Yeah, he's got it on low. Because we did notice that when it was on high, it was a little out of balance. We're going to uh, do a balance kit on it and try to see if we can get it straightened out a little bit. We'll probably mess with that tomorrow. Guys, thank you for stopping by today and checking out Nathaniel's new video. I mean, a <laughs> new... Uh, ceiling fan that he uh that he wanted so tell everybody what you think buddy all right so to you sir you like comment and subscribe and turn phones about us that's right but tell me how you feel are you excited oh yeah do you feel great about this yeah did you make a good purchase oh yeah heck yeah man <laughs> that is awesome all right guys we will see you next time take care bye-bye